Welcome to the English audio reading of the book, The Universe and Disenchantment, written by Manuel Jancinto Coelho, read by myself, Miss Lilac Black. Before I begin reading, I would like to first say that I am going to save all commentary about the book and its author till the very end of the series. I can say, however, that the book was originally written in Portuguese and made to rhyme like a song. Manuel, the author of the book, claims that he himself is not, in fact, the true author of the book, but rather an entity of sorts is writing it through him and also that Portuguese is a very difficult language to translate into English. Um, sometimes it takes an entire sentence in English just to describe one word in Portuguese. So let's begin. Universe and Disenchantment Rational Part Rational Superior Above rational superior, superior rational. Above superior rational, rational court. Above the rational court, supreme justice to all and everything. Above the supreme justice to all and everything, contentious universal. Above contentious universal, Supreme Voice from Other Worlds Knowledge of the Return of the Place of Origin Author Rational Superior Universe and Disenchantment Rational Immunization First Volume Where Everyone Came From Where Everyone Is Going To How You Came And How You Are Going The Beginning and the end of the world, the salvation of everyone. The true light of the rational animal is the light of his world of origin. The rational light from the rational world. We are in the full phase of the rational apparatus. This is the discovery of two worlds, the electric and the magnetic one, which is the world we inhabit and the other one, which is the rational plane, from where we came and which gave consequence to this one. Because we are deformed ourselves into rational animals. And so, with the continuous reading of this knowledge, one acquires the rational vision, and the living being will see the rational plane, the place of origin of everyone. In this knowledge, the revelation of the two worlds, the world has already passed by infinity of phases. We are now in the rational apparatus phase. It is the last phase of material life, the phase where everyone will be linked to your world of origin, the rational world. From there, you will receive all precise orientations for your equilibrium here in this life. The true rational phase when you will get in contact and communicate with rational superior. Receiving all orientations transmitted by rational superior for your equilibrium here in this life. The human being is the most monstrous parasite that exists on earth due to hideous crimes that he commits against the natural laws. Man is a vague animal without destiny, which was born on this earth without knowing why or what for. In this work we will know why. Knowledge of return to the place of origin of all. Rational plane. Our world of origin. Where everyone came from and where everyone is going to how came forth and how is going to. 
the salvation of the rational animal can only be done by the world of his origin, the rational world, and no one else. This is the discovery of two worlds, the electric and the magnetic one, which we inhabit, and the rational plane, where we came from, and which gave consequence to this one we inhabit. With the continuous reading of this knowledge, one acquires the rational vision and the living being will see the rational plane, the place of everyone's origin. Attention. There it is, the glorifying point of the rational animal, rational immunization. Everyone, without effort, very naturally, seeing within their homes the rational light and being served within their home, not having necess necessity to go to any place because within your homes you will be orientated in everything. You will receive all orientations for your equilibrium. It is as you are seeing the natural knowledge and not science of someone's imagination. It is no art because science is art, but from up here, from the other world, rational plane. Then it comes from the other world, which is a rational plane, all the precise orientations within your home or wherever you are to everyone's equilibrium. Therefore, there are no temples, no synagogues, no preaching houses to preach, rational immunization, no. Each one within one's home will receive all graces of your world of origin. The origin is rational and you will receive all precise orientations within your homes. From the place of your origin, you will receive all precise orientations wherever you are. Therefore, there is no need for temples or synagogues. For everyone being orientated within their homes or wherever you are, you will receive the precise orientations from your world of origin, rational plane. And so, it is time for the rational animals vibrate of joy. Everyone vibrating of joy due to having found your true world of origin. Due to having found the true root and for not being expected such a thing, the emotion will be very great, and so, vibrating of joy, the contentment is general, such that the rational animal will not know how to thank for so much joy. The divine grace reached of the definitive change to your true world of origin, rational plane. This knowledge is not for the commerce of the exploration, but for the salvation of all. This means the return of everyone to your world of origin, the rational world, the true world of the rational animal. It is rational world. This knowledge is accompanied by an emissary of the book's owner, or rational superior, to do what is necessary for the reader. Note. Due to the human being is an astrological center, that is why with time you had to arrive to the conclusion of finding within yourselves rational immunization. In it is the spokesman of the truth of truths. Due to the nature of the living beings being adequate to the nature which made them, because you were formed by this nature, and that is why you depend on it to live being then formed by seven particles and depending on them. Responsible's note. This work is the fruit of rational immunization. In it is expressed in the most simple and clear form all the knowledge of the formation of the world and of the beings who inhabiting it the clarifications of the origin of all. For the before being of all, whatever you were, how you came to be, what you are through the degeneration and deformation of nature. This is not a knowledge extracted from knowledge of this world, 
but from the truth of truths dictated by rational superior entity from rational plane. Through his representative responsible for this edition, Manuel Jancinto Coelho. Rational plane. Rational plane. Where the rationals were with their progress. Where we came from and where we are going to through rational immunization. Rational part. The plane that was not yet ready to enter in progress. Number one. They started to progress on their own account. Number two. In this progress started the light focus that was formed by the virtues that the rational were losing. Number three. In this progress already at the end of extinction of those bodies. Number four. In this degree, it took a long eternity for the formation of the bodies. Number five. In this degree, they already understood one another by yelps. Number six. In this formation, they started to loosen the voice. They were stutterer. Number seven. More advanced in stuttering, the formation of the moon started. Number eight, the virtues started to get together the virtues of the plane and the resin. From there, the stars originated. Number nine, more advanced in stuttering, but that advancement was still not yet of understanding. They kept loosening their voice. Number ten, Stuttering with some understanding, but very vague. Number 11. With a little bit more understanding. Number 12. The resin with its deformation was well developed. Number 13. The separation of the land started. Number 14 where the vegetation started, much different from this one, and the dilation of the organs. Number 15. The creation of the animals started, and they started to make use of some vegetables. Number 16. The dilation of the organs started. Until here, they were eternal. Number 17. Where death started to appear. New creations. It took a long eternity being born and dying, stuttering. Number 18. In this progress, the moon had already appeared with its modifications. So did the stars. Number 19. The vegetation completely modified. There was already day and night. Number 20. New creations. New understandings. They already understood each other regularly. And number 21. In this progress came to be the first steps that are here now. Warning, life and the organization of the organic beings are such that the organic beings get confused with life. Life is very clearly organized for those who know how to live, but for those who do not know how to live, life becomes disorganized and the organic beings persist on fighting on the fight of life. For God, life to be well formed, well created, solid, equal liberated to the good living, it is needed that the organic beings and 
the organizations be all parallel or adequate to the way that constitutes life because life is also constituted of various organizations and various means of life's power. Life's power is in what the organizations can do to be equivalent to life. What is it worth to the living being has life? Live and not know how to live. It is worth nothing. Because the more he tries to organize in life, the more he gets disorganized. And getting disorganized more, the suffering has devoured it, and more suffering. It's like the tide, always against the tide, and a rough sea. And so, these storms that reign in the living being's life that wreck this precious life due to the storms created, because he does not know how to live, and the living being keeps imagining and saying, the more I seek God, the more it distances from me. The farther it gets, perhaps, in the infinite, because I do not see what I will do with my life. And the living being stays in this bitter twilight, in the dreams of a desperate dreamer, in this dream of tears, in this hellish nightmare, thinking of a series of things and not knowing how to attain his ideal. Introduction In this work are all the teachings of the beginning and the end of the world dictated by rational superior to administrate the rational knowledge. What is this rational knowledge based on? It is based on the true personality and the rational knowledge are all the bases of the supreme being to all and to everything. To get everyone to know where you came from, where you are going, and how you are going. Is it spiritism? No. Spiritism is this enigma that everyone dreams they have, but never proved and will not be able to prove it. That is why it is spiritism. A thing or cause an experience and where there are experiences, there are the enigmas. Therefore, spiritism is enigmatic and the rational has no mystery. Rationally, all the mysteries are solved clearly in a lapidated way, solidly. Spiritism means experiencing in experience. Shrewd, piercing, taking advantage of, always with two intentions, good and bad. An explanation that cannot explain the deep meaning of the material being. Always staying in experiences without solution for keeping all mysteries, all enigmas, and all the enchantment. They, uh, there they, the reasons for suffering and weeping. Those who live in experience do not reach the reason or the conclusions of things. Spiritism, philosophy, a thing which no one can trust. Those who sail in experience do not know whether they are right or not. Spiritism and a boat adrift is the same thing, because they ignore and make mystery of their origins and maintain the mysteries of everything. Therefore, spiritism is a call to alert everyone about the existence of the inhabitants of this immense vacuum and other places much beyond from that vacuum. That is why spiritism is on singular reason which it never went any further than we from the astral superior came here to guide everyone, to clarify everyone about those mysteries, to disenchant everyone, prove the reason for all that confusion and prove the reason of everything and for everything. Or the rational knowledge given by us inhabitants from the astral superior is the real knowledge of the reason of this life, of the reason of this world, of the before being of everything that composes this world, and the reason why everyone is unaware of their origin, the reason of life, of everything and everyone. 
This is only possible in the rational knowledge, in what is rational, in purity and in the truth of truths, and not in, in the way you live there, the mercy of spiritism, for being something in experience gather all the false truths. Who lives in experience is not with the truth, but with a particle of truth. That particle of truth is what animates everyone within those experiences of spiritism and puts everyone in doubt with the false faith, because faith is the false conductor. If the faith were not from the false conductor, no one would be betrayed by it. If faith was the real thing and it work, if it worked, everyone would win with the power of faith, and no one would suffer. There'd be no suffering, because everyone with faith would solve all of fine, all of good or bad. Due to faith being an enigma from this this um, this enchantment, that is why you keep the suffering and the weeping, because if it worked, no one would suffer. Everyone uses faith and its powers for all its formalities, for all effects, and for all solutions. If faith worked, there would not be miseries of all sizes, of all kinds, or suffering. But because it is worthless, everyone suffers. The rich suffers, the remedied suffers, the haves and the have-nots suffer. If it worked, nothing if this would exist. And because it does not work, all of this exists. Thus, the knowledge given by the rational superior is the rational knowledge. It is very different from this flabbiness, where everything is flabby, only exists in words. But nothing in reality, much fertile knowledge, will come with the progression of the rational elaboration given by rational superior. And so, everyone, each one in, everyone's, uh, in one's category, the inhabitants of Earth and the inhabitants from the space, which is this immense vacuum, the inhabitants of other places, and the inhabitants from the astral superior will all arrive there. But let's take it easy, learning all lessons from the co-religionaries of the rational elaboration. Doubts are for those who know nothing. With the progression of the writing, all doubts will vanish, because what is rational is complete, and what is science is from the enchantment and incomplete. You are used to the science of the enchantment, and the science of the enchantment is full of doubts. You need to realize what is rational has no doubts, mysteries enigmas or enchantment it unveils everything with truth therefore rationals above everything and everyone and the science of the enchantment and of the enchanted ones is below everyone and everything because they are creation of the philosophers and keep philosophizing to be or not to be a philosophy created by enchanted ones who do not know what they are doing and those who do not know what they are doing keep everyone in doubt which is the reason why everyone keeps mistrusting everything everyone and oneself due to living under this scientific philosophy created invented and forged by the inhabitants of earth enigmatic beings subject without solution which keeps everyone in doubt as you live there until today without any solution and saying in the world everything is illusion and nothing else wow that is the end of the introduction chapter next we will go on to the rosary of life I believe it is which will begin on page 19 of the book 
and that will be part two next video so watch out for that and thanks so much for watching